Texas, so I've learned since being here, is the only state that reserves the right to fly the Texas flag equal to the United States flag and has purportedly, according to people here in Hell, Texas, is the only state that can withdraw from the United States if they elect to. I wonder how that's going to work out for them because Pantex is owned by the U.S. government and I don't think they're going to just give that up if you guys decide to defect. Why you ponder those thoughts, Google White House and Martial Law, M-A-R-T-I-A-L Law, and read about the Ready Preparedness Act which any time between now and the inauguration, President Obama can declare martial law and the United States becomes like communist Russia. There's already enough camps to house over 50 million people and incinerators bigger than what Germany had during World War II for those who are real problems. And if you think I'm joking, read the Ready Preparedness Act that your government made law two years ago. He doesn't need an act of Congress. All he needs is a pen stroke. So while you're fluttering about, will it be Donald, will it be Hillary, will it be someone else, consider the thought that the current administration may never change in the next few years or longer. And if we lose our constitutional freedom in the United States, I haven't seen provisions to restore it once martial law is enacted. Go figure. The rich will stay richer and study Russia and figure out the rest from there. And if you think it's a joke or a conspiracy theory, start to do some homework, because obviously the news has let you down, because I haven't seen it on any major news services. Have you?